Hello, good morning. I want to talk to you today about the Justin Justin Fairfax. I keep saying Justin Timberlake, okay? Justin Fairfax, the Lieutenant Governor of Virginia, and this woman who's accusing him, Vanessa Tyson. Okay. Now, I do not believe that it was a sexual assault. I do not believe that it was that it was a sexual assault. I do not even believe it meets the definition of rape. I really don't. And I know I'm going to get some dissent on it, and that's okay. I do not believe that it was the definition of even a sexual assault and definitely not rape. Okay. I think that it was a case, itching y'all, of miscommunication. That's what I would call it, miscommunication. Now, she admits, and he admits, they've been flirting with each other for a few days at that convention. They're both given this verbal and non-verbal communication for days. Okay, because she's attracted to this young black male who's educated, okay? Now, she, by her own admission, says she consents. She consents to go to his hotel room. If a 25-year-old man asks you to go to the hotel room, you know what he wants. You know he's not going to play checkers. He's not going to cook. He's not going to sew. You know that. Okay, and then she consents by her own admission to kissing him. Now she's getting something going already. She already knows what she wants and she knows what he wants. Okay, now at that point, if I was a judge, I would throw the whole thing out of court. I would even bring it to court. Okay, because she has two, three levels of consent. First, she's flirting with him for a few days, verbally and non-verbal verbal communication. Then she consents to go to his hotel room. Then she consents to kissing him. You got three levels of consent. Okay. Now the girl, if you ask the girls from the street, they would say that's peanuts. That's not rape. That's not even an assault. They would call it peanuts. So what really is the problem here? I think the problem is that they are sexually incompatible. Okay. Now... Even though neither one of them want to admit it. They're sexually incompatible. The psychologists say that men and women think differently. Men are from Mars, women are from Venus, whatever that title is. They think differently. She wanted wine, flowers, music, and perfume. And that is not what he wanted. He wanted to be a caveman for a day. Okay? If that's what he in fact did. I'm not even sure what he in fact did. Okay, now, what my question is, why she knew what he wanted, why didn't she call 911 immediately after this incident, if this incident occurred? Why didn't she call 911 immediately? Because in 2004, date rape was already being talked about on the talk shows. Oprah talked about date rape. Okay, so... Why didn't she call 911 immediately? And nobody would be even having this conversation about any of it. Okay, and she's tw she was 24, 25. She, she knew uh, how to dial 911, okay? Now, I think her whole motivation, she didn't talk about it one month after it happened, not even a year after it happened, but 15 years after it happened. Why? Because she wants to ruin him because he's poised to take over the governorship. She wants to ruin him. And she's jealous because he did not marry her. He married someone else. So he's, she's still pissed off. What is Justin's problem? Justin's problem is that he doesn't have a romantic bone in his body. That is his problem. There was no music, no Marvin Gaye, no Sam Cooke, no Sam and Dave. There were no flowers, no perfumes, nothing. Just caveman mentality. He treated her like a dog. And she did not expect that. Because maybe he perceived her as being an easy, easy dog. So he treated her like one. Okay? Now, if any man or of any age asks a woman to a hotel... You know exactly what they cotton pick and want. You know they don't want to play checkers. You know they don't want to cook. You know they, they don't want to sew. You know that. 
of any age. You take a calculated risk when you go to a hotel with a man you don't really know at all. They don't even know each other. They're going through all this flirtatious mess, all this whatever. But it does not qualify as a rape. It does not qualify as a sexual assault. That and I don't that to me is uh ridiculous. What it qualifies to me is miscommunication. They're not sexually compatible, which neither one of them don't want to admit. They're not sexually compatible. She wanted wine and perfume and all that. And he just wanted a one night stand. That's all he wanted. Okay. Now, as far as the governor of Virginia being the black face, the attorney general in the black face, I think you're going to do a whole lot of stupid stuff and sensitive things when you're young and stupid. Uh, but I don't know what Virginia's going to do about this situation. But that is my take on Justin Fairfax and this woman, Vanessa Tyson. Have a nice day.